everybody, it's time for Watch Party Wednesday with director extraordinaire Leroy. What you got for me, sir? How you doing today, brother? I'm good, man. Good to see man, you. Man, that ice cream was good, wasn't it? It, it didn't suck even a little bit. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> even the non-dairy, you're like, man, oh, what is happening? Delicious. Okay, yeah. so I got a great uh, array of shows for okay. you. What you got? First off, I want to start off with a show for the kiddos because the kiddos are home from summer, from That's summer right. break, and they're at home. They need something to watch. So That's the right. first show I have for them is My Adventures with Superman. Oh, um, cool. <laughs> This is a great show. It's basically just a retelling of the adventures of Superman for a new generation. Right on. Clark Kent builds his Superman identity and embraces his role as the hero of Metropolis while sharing adventures and falling in love with Lois, the star investigative journalist who also takes Jimmy Olsen under her wing. So it's just the basic Superman lore, again, for a newer generation, yeah. updated animation. Yeah, it seems um, like it's very, like, almost like Japanese animation style. Almost, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's written beautifully. It cool. It's in its second season I love it like I've been watching it since the start because you know me and superheroes I'm yeah I'm the same way I'm like well that's supposed to just be for kids it's <laughs> right right no, I, I watched it. it right 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 <laughs> right right and then so my son loves it which is the test and I love it so uh, my Adventures with Superman is a, is is one for you. You can find it. it on Max. Okay. On Max, and all, if you don't have Max, you can also find it on Cartoon Network, Adult Swim. Oh. They premiere there too on okay, good. Friday nights. So right on. My Adventures with Superman. I like all it. Right. Next up. We have, continuing, continuing with the superhero lore, yeah. we have Supercell. Now this is oh. on Netflix. Uh, a group of seemingly ordinary people from South London unexpectedly develop superpowers. Whoa. They don't seem to have a connection between them besides the fact that they all are black. Now this show uh, is very good so far. Um, for me, it is, it's a show that I've never seen before. I've never seen um, the superhero uh, tales told from the perspective of of them across the pond in London. Yeah. So this is cool. Also, I've never seen just a group of superheroes who are all black. Yeah, no, yeah, so, I think it's amazing. Man, it is, it is so That's cool. Be cool. I, I love it so far. It's written very well. Yeah. Um, Cause you know I'm gonna I'm it, it doesn't matter if black white whoever if it's not good and you know I'm all it about my superhero yeah. lore it, if it's not good then it's not it's good but not this good. this is good Supercell on uh, Netflix I'll it check stars Tolson Cole and Nadine Mills and again on Netflix please I'll check, check it out, out. Oh, for Supercell sure. next up we have Presumed Innocent starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Bill Kemp now this is a, a pretty deep uh, show on Apple Plus TV it tells the story of a horrific murder that upends the Chicago prosecuting attorney's office when one of his own is suspected of the crime, leaving the accused fighting to keep his family together. Now, the accused is Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, now he is a prosecuting lawyer, um, real big in the office, and he had, he gets accused of murdering another one of the prosecutors in the office. Now, the problem is, it turns out he had an affair with him. Right. So, so yeah, he, right. Yeah, so now I, I you're saw wondering, the trailer for this. It looks so, really man. So now you're wondering if he did it or right. if he didn't do it. But Jake Gyllenhaal does such a great job in this movie. Very cool. Such a great job, and I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he does a great job. I'm I'm guessing the whole time he did it. He did. It. He, did it. <laughs> he didn't do it. So no, man. that's cool. Good. Oh my goodness, it, it is it's it a great show. Presume Innocent, Apple TV. It, 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 check it out, man. Check it out. I'll watch it this weekend. Finally, finally, we have Sprint the world's fastest humans. Now, if you haven't heard, we on NBC are carrying the Olympics. <laughs> Real, wait, no way. <laughs> so those Olympics that you oh, heard wow. so about. So I've been very <laughs> excited for the Olympics. So Sprint is basically, they follow athletes from all around the world and dive into the minds of those top athletes who practice to become the world's fastest person. It provides an insider perspective on the high stakes and mental toughness of the sprinters. Um, some of the runners featured um, in Sprint are Shakari Richardson, Noah Lyles, and uh, Shadrika Jackson. So that seems this cool. is very cool because I've never really seen like the behind the scenes of how they get ready, uh, the track runners and prepare and the emotional toll that it takes. Yeah, it's and gotta be, it's gotta be rough. Oh my like, goodness. That's it a is, lot of work. It's pretty emotional, man. It's not just getting on the track running. It's, it's very deep. It's very deep. So again, this is getting me really excited for the Olympi Olympics. Uh -huh. um, we have the opening ceremonies on July 26th, NBC. 
I want everybody to, to check it out, put it on your calendars. Yeah. I'll be watching it. I'll oh, be yeah. getting excited by watching the trials and all the videos on Peacock. Yeah. Um, checking out Sprint on Netflix, man. Just getting really excited for Olympics, man. We cheering on USA, so, baby. I love it. What's your What's your favorite Olympic sport to watch? Um, probably track and field. Track and track field. Track and field. Track and field. It's the one I understand with the least rules. Yeah. That I understand. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm not a runner, but I know that if this person crosses the line first, before then. Right. They win. Right. Yeah. See, with swimming, I'm guessing how many laps back and forth this, gotcha. you know? But running, I just, I, and I identify with a lot of the runners, you yeah. know, um, the struggles. I'm not a runner myself, but yeah. some of the same lessons that they run, uh -huh. the practicing, the mental toughness, right. the teamwork with the other teammates, that's what you learn from watching this, and that's what you get from watching Olympics. So I, I really love track and field, man. I love it. Leroy. Yo. You killed it again, as usual. Hey, I man. really appreciate it. All fantastic recommendations. Guys, stick around.